Good morning. Welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. It's not so warm a welcome as I usually would give because we're in the middle of trying to catch acrobat. As you know, I let my rabbits dig burrows in our colony and acrobat always seems to be able to escape somehow and now that i have fixed all the fencing so she can't jump over that she has begun trying to escape out of the burrows again so her and zuzu i found out this morning i managed to it was pretty easy actually to chase zuzu back into the burrow and seal it up temporarily till later i can fix it better but acrobat she's right there is still out and I'm gonna catch her and put her back. I'm gonna give up even like trying to grab her with my hands because I've tried that a whole bunch over the past getting out and it doesn't really work. So I have this live trap and I'm gonna see if this works better. Okay, the trap is set and Acrobat is just over around this barrel. I'm gonna walk around the garden and see if I can chase her more towards the trap. I'm starting to question now whether letting my rabbits burrow is even worth it because we keep having escapees. I really love the idea of burrows, how natural it is, how the kits are protected from a lot of the problems that you deal with with nest boxes, and how in the summertime rabbits can stay cool and breed through the whole summer so you don't lose a huge chunk of your breeding season like we have been doing because we have not had good burrows. But with those pros come a whole bunch of cons, one of which is escaping. And with Acrobat, we're having to deal with that a lot more than with other rabbits. Thankfully though, a lot of the rabbits in our colony didn't choose to go out of the burrow. A majority of them stayed in and only Acrobat and Zuzu went out. Okay, so where did she go? I'm over here now. I don't see her anywhere over here. She used to be like right there. Let's see, is she over this area? I don't want to scare her. Don't want to scare you. Where'd she go? She's way over there again. So she's right there. The hard thing with this trap thing is that she wanders everywhere. So if I put it in one spot, she probably won't come like back to that spot. So I always second guess myself. I'm like, should I have the trap here or move it over there? And then when I walk to move it, she runs away from it again. So I don't really know what to do. I guess one of her favorite spots is by the beehives. She likes to be in there and kind of hide there. So maybe I'll move the trap there and just assume that she'll eventually head over to that spot because in the past when she's escaped, she always goes to that spot eventually. Maybe I'll do that and then try to like avoid her right now so I don't scare her off from where I want her to be because she's right now she's closer to the beehives than she is to way over here. Maybe I'll try that and see how it goes. I'm trying to stay a little far away so I don't scare her off, but... The trap is right there, and she's like past the coop somewhere. So it's closer to her than it was before, and she's more likely to get there. Usually I would just cull a rabbit who escapes so much, but because she's one of the few rabbits we have who is really hardy, she, she got really sick, and now she's getting better all by herself, I really want that quality in her, and so I don't want to like cull her or just let her be free and die on her own. Because even though she is such a handful, she has some really good traits I really want to keep. Which are more important than her bad traits of escaping. To me, at least at this point. And actually, the reason I figured out there was a hole there and that people had escaped is because little Roxy, well not so little anymore, she was digging at the hole trying to get at the rabbits. But... There were like two rabbits out, and she was not able to eat either one of them. For a while, I was looking around for Acrobat, and I was so afraid Roxy had grabbed her and eaten her. That would have been so sad. One, because Acrobat would have been gone, and two, because Roxy would have gotten a taste for a live rabbit. And so far, whenever we're with her, she does pretty okay with the rabbits. But if she had like eaten one, I was afraid that was going to like undo a whole bunch of our training that we've done with her. I don't know if they were just able to run away fast from her, or if she didn't notice them or chose not to chase them, but they aren't dead or hurt. They're not like hiding in weird places. They were hopping around. Uh, as soon as I came out here and saw that, I put her in here. Then like two minutes later, there was rabbits hopping around. It wasn't like they were scared because they were being chased for so long. So that's good that Roxy wasn't able to eat them. That was one thing I was worried about with, with having this not fully trained puppy, or, like free on our homestead, was that if rabbits escaped, that she would eat them. Thankfully, Fang taught himself several years ago that he's not supposed to eat chickens, 
and also that he's not supposed to disturb the rabbits at all. So even when we've had escapes in the past, he has not hurt them or like chased them at all. So that's really nice. But having Roxy out here, we just let her out at night when the chickens are put up. So there is no animal out of an enclosure just free ranging that she has free reign over to catch over the night. And then we lock her up during the day and only have her out when we're able to supervise her around the chickens. But with the rabbits, if they escape, you know, you can't tell like if they're gonna escape today or not. So like keeping her in here for the like small chance that one rabbit might escape is kind of silly. So we've just been letting her stay out at night. But I was afraid that if rabbits did escape that she'd eat them. But it seems like at least this time that didn't happen, so that's really good. And I guess now all I can do is wait and pray and hope that Acrobat is caught. She's actually pretty gullible when it comes to traps. I've trapped her so many times before and each time up to this point she has fallen for it and got into the treats and was caught. Hopefully this time is not like the time she learns that that's not okay. Hopefully she still is silly and gullible. At least one more time. Oh, there she is. There she is right there. She's hopping around. I'm gonna leave so she doesn't notice me. The hard thing is I have a whole bunch of chores I still have to do. So I'm going to have to like avoid that area for a while, even though I have chores to do in that area. It's going to be a little difficult, but I'm going to try my best and give her a chance to get caught without me there before I go in messing everything up and scaring her off. Okay, I just finished moving the trap. It's a little bit later, not that many minutes later. It's I found Acrobat eating the chicken food, which is not very good, but I figured I'd use that to my advantage. So I moved the trap to where the chicken food was. I move the chicken food like away so she can't get at it anymore. I put some chicken food in the trap. So hopefully she's already got a taste for the grain and she goes back. But in doing that, I chased her far away. She's like right there now under the wheelbarrow. I'm going to go real slow. Just want to, oh, there she goes. I'm going to back away now. What I really don't want to happen is have her go, over this hill into the brush because she loves it there but hopefully she'll make her way back to the chicken food and find that it's actually a trap when she tries to eat it all i can do is hope and pray now i'm in the colony doing chores and acrobat is right there under the girl's hutch she was over here chucking out the chicken feed but now she's over there oh i need to do chores but she's like all in the way of where my chores are I guess I can like wait till later. Okay, I have Acrobat in my arms right now. We'll be able to trap her, not in the trap, but in between a like a sliding door and then move the door slowly back and grab her. And now, there you go, girly. You're safe. Now, just in case for now, I'm going to get something to cover the burrow entrance because I don't want anybody going in. Look at her, she's gonna go in again. Acrobat. Oh, maybe not, okay, phew. We are going to cover this entrance. And then, I don't know if I can get like a brick or something. Oh, here's a brick. We're in the middle of a completely different project right now. So later today I will have time to like for sure fix the burrow exit thing that they got out of. But for now this should hold all the rabbits in. She's trying to get in there. She's having a hard time accepting that she can't escape anymore. Sorry Acrobat, you can't get out anymore. It is now a few days later and as you can see all five rabbits are in the colony. Acrobat has not escaped anymore. As you can see, I uncovered their burrow again after going outside where their burrow caved in and fixing it really good. I have a really good plan of how to fix the outside of the burrow area. I'm gonna like put wire down all these places and like stake it in and just make it really rabbit proof so that this never happens again. But the wire I'm gonna use is also the same type of wire I need to use for a different project and I wanna make sure I have enough of that first. So I have to do one project to do the second project and when that second project is done then I can do the third project which is make it so that the burrow will never cave in again. So I'm working on it but it's not gonna happen for a while but I did a pretty good job of temporarily blocking it so no one can get out again. And it's been several several days and no one has gotten out 
So it looks like my temporary job is working pretty well. It's actually been quite a while since we've had an escapee from a burrow, but this instance has made me rethink my even allowing rabbits to burrow. You know, when you get into the groove of something and you just like don't think about it, but then when those problems start happening, then you think, oh, is this worth it or not? So that's been happening to me. And I've given it much thought and consideration considering the pros and cons of letting them burrow versus not, and I have decided to keep allowing them to burrow. I really like the benefits that we've already seen from burrowing, and I'm hoping that this summer we'll see even more benefits. And around the colony, like on the outside of the barn, we have recently done some changes, which I'll talk about. It's like a completely different topic and a completely different video, but those changes will make it easier to prevent burrows from caving in and collapsing and escaping. And if they do escape, it will be easier to catch them, and it'll just be all around be easier having burrows in the colony with this weird thing we did. So I'll talk about that later. It's going to be in a goat video, so if you guys are curious about it, make sure to watch some of our upcoming goat videos. So I guess all's well that ends well. The problem is fixed, and we have a long-term solution in the works. I guess Acrobat just decided to give me an extra video content. Usually I plan out my videos, or I film something while I'm doing a project that's all planned out, but she just decided to give me some extra content. So, where is she? There she So, thank you, Acrobat. So, I'll see you in the next video, which is hopefully a planned video. Thanks for watching!